In this video, we'll cover how to issue a refund in ToastWeb, what it looks like in reporting after you've completed it, and how to issue a refund on the POS. The reporting will look the same regardless of whether you issue the refund on the POS or in ToastWeb. Before we go over how to issue a refund in ToastWeb, let's look at reports before the refund is issued. Navigate to Reports, then Sales Summary. Let's load the sales data for today. Here you'll see our net sales for today, 466.58, the tax amount, tip amount, and you'll see that no refunds have been issued. This is what this report looks like before a refund is issued. Navigate back to the home page. Select Refund Check under the Quick Action section. Select the date of the check you wish to refund, then navigate to the specific check. Select the blue drop-down button labeled Refund. Here you can choose if you'd like to refund by item, entire check, tax only, or a custom amount. If you select by item, you can select more than one item from the check. After you select items, you'll see the refund total increase at the bottom of the window. Once you've selected all items to be refunded, select Next. Here you're able to issue a partial, full, or no refund on the tip amount. Select Next. You'll then be prompted to add any additional comments on the refund if you'd like. Selecting Next again will take you to the confirmation screen. If at any point you'd like to change any of the selections you've made, you can select the Back button. For example, if you want to go back and add another item to the refund, the totals will all update and the tip amount will remain the same as what you initially entered. On the confirmation screen, select Confirm when you are ready to process the refund. You'll then see this screen saying your refund has been processed, where you'll then have the option to email or text the receipt. On the POS, you'd also have the option to print the receipt. Back on the Find Checks by Number screen, if you select Search again for your time frame, you can see the newly issued refund on the check in question. Let's go see what this looks like in our reports now that we've issued a refund. Navigate back to the Home screen to go back into Reports, then Sales Summary. Load today's report again. You'll see this data has been reduced by the refund amount in the net sales as well as the tax amount associated with the refunded items. You'll also see a reduction in tips with the amount of refunded tips from that day. In the case that you're pooling tips and don't want to penalize your employees for the refunds from the day, you can just add these two values together. You can also see that the refund details appear in the refund column. All other sales figures on this page will update to reflect the refund that was issued. Now let's go over how to issue a refund in the POS. Once you're logged into the payment terminal, you can use the three dot icon in the top right corner to select Advanced Check Search to get to Find Checks, or go into the Manager Activities and select Find Checks. This will take you to the web embedded view of Find Checks. Select the date of the check in question. Here you'll see the same blue refund button, which will take you through the same workflow as the Toast Web process we just covered. If you're looking at an unrestricted check, you can just select the Update button to open the check. Select Pay, then select Refund. Here you will select the type of refund you want to issue. The following fields will be consistent with the workflow we walk through in ToastWeb. Remember, if you select Buy Item, you can select more than one item from the check and you'll see the refund total reflect all items to be refunded. You'll then be able to issue a partial, full, or no refund on the tip amount. Again, once you reach the confirmation screen, if you want to change any of your entries, just select back to make your edits. When you're ready to submit the refund, select confirm. On the POS, you'll see the added option to print a receipt for this refund. Once the refund has been processed, select OK to be brought back to the payment screen. If you want to double check that your refund has been completed, go back to the advanced check search and find the check in question. You'll see the confirmation of the refund details associated with the check. And that's it! For more how-tos and best practices, visit us at central.toastab.com.